Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your first forecast. Well, we started off a little on the soggy side this morning with some scattered showers working through the area. They cleared. We got sunshine. That's where we are right now. Dry skies. And we're going to be seeing a couple of unsettled days before we eventually get into this prolonged stretch of summery or summerish kind of weather here in southern New England. But it's dry right now. Threat tracker for tonight, Monday and Tuesday. Low chance of anything severe. And if I had to uh, place my bets, I'd say the whole entire week looks relatively quiet on the severe weather front. Just looks really nice down the road. 65 in New Bedford, 67 in Newport, 61 westerly, 59 Block Island. Looking on off to the west from Providence, the hurricane barrier camp. You can see the blue skies. Do have some lingering clouds still out there. Another view from Oakland Beach. You can see the pretty blue skies in Warwick. Nice evening, 64 degrees in the capital city of Rhode Island College and over in Westerly right now. It's 59 degrees, a little bit cooler with the wind tending off the water about uh, three miles an hour. Now, if you look closely here, you can see, first of all, that big batch of rain that was around earlier in the morning. Uh, long gone and now working its way into the Canadian Maritimes. But you kind of look at the broad picture here and you can almost make out a spin in the atmosphere. There's a, an area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere kind of uh, rotating around and we're eventually going to be seeing some of these showers work their way back into southern New England. But I don't think it's really going to happen until tomorrow night. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. We're going to be seeing a blend of clouds and stars for tonight. Here we are 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll have some uh, sunshine, a blend of clouds and sun tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little bit brighter than I was originally thinking. Now taking you into your Monday evening, notice the clouds are beginning to thicken up a little bit. We've got some rain showers down in here. They're going to rotate in tomorrow night and we're likely going to have a cloudy and kind of a showery day for you on uh, Tuesday. So your future cast for this evening, blend of clouds and stars, temperatures falling down through the 60s into the mid 50s by midnight. And if you look to the east, Mars will be the brightest it has been, at least from our perspective, in 10 years. It's actually at opposition tonight where it falls between the Earth. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, it falls. Uh, uh, the Earth falls between the Sun and Mars. So look to the east during the early evening. You'll also be seeing the full moon or just past full moon and Saturn in the sky. Now tomorrow morning, we're looking at a blend of clouds and sunshine. We'll have some dry roadways, temperatures in the mid 50s. Let's look at the afternoon. As I mentioned, a little bit brighter than originally thought. So the temperature is a little bit warmer. Low 70s in Hope Valley, 67 Charlestown, mild and dry in Wickford, about 71. Looking at low 70s in Situate and Johnston, in Woonsocket. We get some sunshine. I think it'll be dry. Low 70s in Fall River, 69 in Freetown, Westport, Dartmouth, and New Bedford should all be topping out in the upper 60s tomorrow. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. Now again on Tuesday, we are expecting the threat of some rain showers. Temperatures will be topping out in the lower 60s, drier on Wednesday. Look at that stretch of weather. In fact, a warm and dry stretch will continue into next weekend. That's the way it looks right now. Temperatures 75 5 to 80 degrees inland each day and a little bit cooler at the coastline, but still nice 65 to 70 degrees. Look at that stretch of weather Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe some extra clouds, perhaps a shower on Saturday. Sunday, we're looking at uh, 79 degrees with uh, some sunshine. So a couple of unsettled days tomorrow looks like it'll be mainly dry and uh, more showery on Tuesday. Of course, you can always get the updated future cast by downloading our WPRI pinpoint weather app. You can get live interactive radar there as well. Well, and more information about that Mars opposition that you can see this evening. It's a new blog post on there. We'll keep an eye out for it. TJ, thank you very much. We have some breaking news just coming into our newsroom right now.